They say in musicals, when, when you can't express your emotions any other way, you have to sing. And I feel like, in a sense, that is the same with movement and with dancing. They say the voice is an instrument, I believe the body is as well. Whether I'm working on a character, I always like to work with that character physically first and find out how he moves and what's his intention inside and how does that manifest itself physically in the space. Um, so I don't necessarily dance it, but it's just, you know, a physical kind of impulsion. We watched the show called Breaking Convention at Sadler's Wells. And um, I remember leaving that show and us walking down the road, uh, just buzzing, just bubbling with inspiration to um, really rip the convention of dance apart. One of our pieces was about manhood and, and, and um, a lot of people don't know that, you know, male suicide is one of the biggest killers, killing young men in, in, in this modern world, not drugs, it's male suicide. And so myself and my, the co-founder, Jared, we made a piece about manhood um, because we, we, we believe that it's something that affects us. Yeah, I just felt like I want to speak about this. I've had my own trials and tribulations growing up as a young man um, in London. And so I just wanted to put that into a piece and see, see how that can really change people's perceptions on what it is to be a man. The type of topics that I, I, I guess I want to talk about through my work are things that have affected me in my growth as a young black man, as a young man, things that have affected people that, I guess, minorities, um, whether that be because of the, the color of their skin or the current piece that I'm working on that I've choreographed and, and I'm, I'm kind of really trying to develop is about police brutality towards young black men. I have never encountered police brutality, no, but I encounter injustice every day. I could be going into a supermarket to buy some food and you just find a security man just following you around the shop. No! One time I, I went to the guy and I said, do you want my number or something? You seem to be following me around the shop. Um, am I attractive to you? Um, so yeah, I do experience injustice, and I guess that's that's been part of the you know the inspiration to tell this story about police brutality because actually it's not just about the police brutality, it's about what's behind it. It's about the 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 it's about the racism. It's about the institutional racism. It's about the the subconscious racism, the subtle racism that has infected our society. It's not about the overt racism. There's so many more layers to it, and actually, what's more impactful and what's more important to tackle is the subconscious, is the, you know, the, the, the person who holds their bag a bit tighter when, when, when a young black man walks past them. Um, that, that type of stuff that they don't even realize they're doing, that's the type of stuff that we need to really interrogate. Why? Why those thoughts, those subconscious thoughts in their head? How can we change that perception, you know? And maybe it's in generations and generations to come, but my job, I believe it's my job to tackle these now and to hopefully initiate that change.